welcome to my week 38 bump date. Two more weeks till my due date. I am still technically preterm. Um, starting next week at 39 weeks, I will be full term, which is crazy to think like baby could come at any minute. So this week baby is the size of a leek or Swiss chard. Um, he is about six and a half, seven pounds. Um, and he is still practicing um, breathing, um, practicing ingesting things. He's getting everything together for his first poop, which is meconium, uh, which is great. It's like black tar. Um, baby's eyes are now like the color that they're gonna be when he's born, which is usually um, a bluish color. And then uh, by the time he turns one, he will have his a permanent uh, eye color. This week I have been experience, experiencing symptoms mostly of just indigestion. Um, I've been um, burping a lot which is causing me to have a lot of heartburn. So I've been having a lot of Tums. Um, I've also been passing gas a lot. So it's, it's a, um, a lot of the same symptoms of last week and the week before. I just have a lot of gas. My nose has been very stuffy, runny. Um, it feels like I have a cold constantly with my nose and I'm still getting those weird tingling sensations in my nose. It's really annoying. I've been tired pretty easily. I haven't really been able to sleep through the night. Um, I have it where now I'm starting to wake up twice throughout the night. It used to be not at all. Then it used to be I woke up at least once throughout the night, usually at 4 a.m. And now I'm waking up twice and throughout the night, um, usually around 2 or 3 a.m. And then again at like 4 or 5 a.m. I have been getting it better where I wake up and then I go back right back to sleep, which is really nice. Um, but it is um, making me more tired because I do wake up. Um, a lot throughout the night now. Um, I'm finding it hard to get comfortable at night uh, to go to sleep. Um, I constantly need to roll over. I find that that's usually why I get woken up in the middle of the night. It's not usually because I have to go to the bathroom. It's because I'm uncomfortable and so then I move to my other side and then I realize oh yeah I have to pee. So um, it's been getting really hard to get comfortable. My hips hurt. Um, my legs hurt. It's just hard to find a comfortable position. I have been getting cramps, um, usually at night and it's usually right after I go to the bathroom, I'll just get light cramps. Um, and I think that's a good thing. I think that's like my uterus just getting ready and maybe baby going down, um, a little bit. Um, so I have been noticing that it isn't too bad that I have to take, um, medicine or anything like that to deal with, but it is kind of annoying, like, to deal with cramps. It feels like I'm about to get my period. It's getting very hard for me to bend over. Um, I, it hurts to bend over. It hurts to put socks on. It hurts to put shoes on. Um, so that's really um, not fun to deal with. Um, I'm just starting to feel really just uncomfortable all the time. My belly is huge. I feel like Every week it grows bigger and bigger. Um, baby is still kicking me in the ribs and pushing on my bladder. Um, and so I'm just starting to get to that point where everything is just uncomfortable to me. It's hard for me to get comfy. My back really doesn't hurt all too much, so that's been really nice. I haven't been having to deal with back aches. Um, I don't feel like I've been swelling at all. My wedding rings are still on my fingers and um, I can still wear my shoes. So that's been really nice. I'm still really craving pop. I wanna have pop all the time. Um, cherry Coke, cherry Pepsi, that's like my favorite right now. Um, it trumps uh, root beer right now. Um, and I'm always hungry and I always wanna eat. I always wanna snack. I'll eat like a pretty sizable meal for lunch or dinner. And then about an hour later, I wanna eat again. And I'm just always hungry. It's crazy. Um, but I'm really thankful that I'm hungry because I know some people will get um, nausea at this point in their pregnancy and I have not had that at all which has been great I've been able to eat um, I haven't really been gaining any weight though I'm still at right around 150 so I'm not gaining you know a crazy amount every week so I think my uh, weight has finally 
settled. Baby still gets hiccups quite often throughout the day, um, at least twice a day. And like I said, he's still um, moving quite a lot. Not as much as um, in the past, but he still moves a lot, enough to where I don't really have to worry about whether he's okay or not. Um, and if I ever feel like he's been asleep or inactive for a while, I just kind of jiggle my belly a little bit and he wakes right up. I don't know if I mentioned this in my other video, but um, the other day Anthony and I put on music on um, Anthony's headphones and we put the headphones on either side of my belly to play some music for baby and he was like kicking the headphones I didn't know if he was kicking them because he liked the music or because he was annoyed with the music but it was really cute to get a reaction out of him I'm starting to get stretch marks on the front of my belly um, so I'm trying my hardest to put lotion I put lotion on every day I'm still taking my prenatal vitamins every day as well um, but I am starting to get more stretch marks. So this week um, I went to my next doctor's appointment. Again, I am starting to go to the doctor weekly now. Um, and if you watch my previous video, you'll know that my last doctor's appointment was very disappointing, um, mostly because I had high blood pressure and my doctor started talking about possibly having to induce me at 39 weeks, um, cause technically I would be full term, um, and they don't want me to develop preeclampsia or anything like that. And I was very disappointed to hear it because, um, I really don't want to have to be induced. I would really like to go naturally, um, into labor or at least go as long as I can. Um, so last week's appointment was really um, disappointing to hear, and so this week I was really nervous to go to my doctor's appointment, but it was hard because like I couldn't be too nervous because if I was nervous, then my blood pressure would be high because my heartbeat would be racing. So it was really hard to keep myself calm even though I was really nervous because I knew a lot was riding on this appointment. Um, if my blood pressure was high again, they were going to talk about inducing me like the like next week. So um, I tried to change it up a little bit. I didn't eat lunch before my appointment um, and I left really early for my appointment and got to the office about 10 minutes before my appointment and was able to go and find a seat by a window and I just sat for a while and I tried to distract myself so I played like games on my phone um, and tried to just keep my heartbeat down a little bit. I was looking like googling like what breathing exercises could I do to bring my heartbeat down and stuff like that so I was trying to like breathe in take really like slow deep breaths and things like that. Um, didn't know if any of this was going to work but I was like I gotta try I gotta try. I had a lot of people praying for me that I would have normal blood pressure, but I was pretty convinced that it was gonna be high um, because it has been very high the past couple of times. Like I said in my previous videos, uh, my blood pressure has been around like 140 over 70, 140 over 80, it, it hasn't been very good. So I went into my appointment and they took my weight and then they took my blood pressure and I don't know what I did. I don't know if it was not eating. I don't know if it was um, getting there 10 minutes early and sitting and distracting myself. I don't know if it was the breathing exercises. I don't know if it was God, but Lo and behold, they took my blood pressure and it was normal. Like, so crazy. I think it was like 120 over something, which is awesome because like I said, I've been having like 140 over whatever. So the lady took my blood pressure and she was like, oh, 120 over, I forget what it was, 70 or 120 over 80. I can't remember what it was. She was like, that's actually really good. And I was just like shocked, shocked. I could not believe, um that uh, I had normal blood pressure. It was just crazy. I did not think that was gonna happen. Um, so I was so happy, so excited. Um, they took me into my room. And I don't know if I told you guys last week, I know I told you I had to do the 24 hour urine test because um, my blood pressure has been high, but every time I do urine tests at my doctor's office, they've come back with absolutely no protein in my urine. So they did a tw they had me do a 24 hour urine test to see if like maybe they just weren't catching it at the right time. 
So I know I told you guys about that, but I don't know if I told you guys about the um, results. So they called me like the next day with my results and said that my um, urine was absolutely fine and there was absolutely no protein in the urine. So I don't remember if I told you guys that, but yeah, no protein in the urine after a 24 hour urine um, test, which I figured was gonna happen. I really don't think I have preeclampsia. I really just think I get very nervous when I go to the doctor's office, a lot of people call it white coat syndrome, where your blood pressure just gets high because you get anxious or nervous when you go to the doctor's office. So anyway, my doctor came in and the first thing she comments on was my blood pressure. She was like, I don't know what you just did to make it so that you have a normal blood pressure, but you need to keep this up. And I was like, I know. And I told her, I was like, I honestly don't know like what I did. Um, and I told her, I was like, I honestly just think I get anxious when I come here because when I'm at home and not here, like I constantly like take into account how my heart is doing and it's fine. And then I come here and it beats really fast and I really just think I get anxious and so I told her like I came early I sat down I distracted myself you know I did some breathing exercises I just try to keep myself calm and she my doctor was just like yeah I mean if you can keep this up and you keep having you know normal blood pressure then you know we'll let you go you know past 40 weeks and we won't have to induce you um, so she's like keep it up and and don't uh, don't change whatever it was that you did I said yeah I'm gonna have to like retrace my steps and do the exact same thing as I did last week uh, or I mean this week next week so she was really happy with that um, and she commented on my 24 hour urine test and was like, yeah, you had absolutely no protein in your urine as well. And I was like, yeah, I know. Um, and I told her like, I really, I'm feeling great, which I am feeling great. I have no headaches. I haven't had headaches for a month. Um, I don't have any vision changes, um, nothing. So I don't, I really don't believe I have preeclampsia. I really just think I get nervous. So. Um, she was really happy about that. We did my fundal height. I'm measuring right on track, right at 38 centimeters. Um, and she uh, did the fetal Doppler and found baby's heartbeat. And I believe it was 150, I think, around there. I, I really can't remember. Um, but it was a normal, fast heartbeat. It was good. She was like, do you have any questions? I was like, nope. So um, I scheduled my next appointment for next week and I just have to hope and pray that my next blood pressure reading is normal. So please pray for me. Please think of me. Um, I need to keep having normal blood pressure because I do not want to have to be induced early. I really just want to get into April. It's the end of March right now. My due date is April 4th. If I can at least just get past uh, Easter, which is on April Fool's. If I can just get past that, I will be the happiest person in the world. So I really just need to get to 40 weeks. Um, so hopefully I can um, keep it up and have a good pl blood pressure. So we'll see. Stay tuned for next week. I think that's it for this week. Let me show you my uh, 38 bump. Okay guys, so here is my uh, week 38 bump with the shirt on. And then here it is with the shirt off um, from the side, from the front. As you can see, I'm starting to get stretch marks on the front now. And also this week, my belly was super itchy. I think it's grown really big. And so I'm starting to get like little scratch marks on my belly. And then here is my belly from the side. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, please stay tuned for next week and what my blood pressure is at my next doctor's appointment. I will be 39 weeks. I will be technically full term. Um, and hopefully everything goes well and I am happy to report that I am able to go longer and not have to be induced. So it's a little nerve wracking. I know now that I'm like, you know, getting to be full term, if it's high, they're going to want to induce me right away. So let's hope that my blood pressure stays normal. But again, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss the next um, clip of my 39 week bump date. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.